Let's talk quickly about bilateral tubal ligation, in other words, a sterilization procedure. And this is something that you will have done if you decide that you don't want to have any more babies again. And the reason that I want to talk to you about it in here in the C-section room is it's something that we commonly do with a C-section. Now, the thing to, most important thing to understand about tubal ligation is that it's permanent and it's not reversible. So if you decide to have a tubal ligation, you have to understand that you're never going to be able to have a baby again. That's important for you to understand, even if you change your mind down the road. Now, the truth is there are some workarounds, but you really shouldn't go into a tubal ligation with the attitude of, well, I can always do a workaround later. If you're going to have a C-section, a tubal ligation is a very simple thing we do during the C-section. The truth is we basically have your tubes in our hand anyway, and it's just a matter of throwing a quick stitch around each tube. It adds two or three minutes to your C-section and does not really add risk to the C-section at all. So if you're positive you're done having kids and you're going to have a C-section, I would encourage you to have a tubal ligation. It's really the right way to go. Now, if you aren't going to have a C-section, then you want to talk to your partner about whether he wants to have a vasectomy or whether you want to have a tubal. And that's an, you know, uh, something that you want to talk about. Now, generally speaking, a vasectomy outside of the C-section view is safer and less intrusive surgery than a tubal ligation. The problem is talking your partner into getting one. You know, my wife had that problem with her partner. <laughs> but in any case, men tend to be chicken. So if you want a tubal ligation after a vaginal delivery, in most hospitals, we don't do them anymore immediately after delivery. See, in the old days, you, if you wanted a tubal ligation, when you had the baby, you would have your tubal ligation the very next day. The reason for that is that the uterus right after a baby is still high up, and you can make a little incision in the belly button to bring the tubes up, because that's where the tubes are immediately after delivery, and so it was a very simple surgery. But with modern laparoscopy, we can make an even smaller incision in the belly button and do it through that one hole, just like a postpartum tubal, but do it later on. And there are several advantages to doing it that way. First of all, statistics say that the, the, one of the biggest risk factors for a patient regretting having the tubal is doing it immediately after delivery. Because people are really emotional, and they don't really have time to think about it. And down the road, they may change their mind. So that's one reason. The other reason is a practical reason. In most hospitals, when you have what's called a postpartum tubal, in other words, you have a tubal ligation right after vaginal delivery, that has to be put on the operating room schedule as an add-on case. And so what happens is it goes sort of to the end of the day. Now you have to be what's called MPO, which means you can't eat or drink anything starting midnight the night before. So here you are, you have a baby, and all of a sudden they don't let you eat anything, and you may, your surgery may not be until 5 o'clock the next day. And people tend to get very grouchy. It can be a very difficult thing for you. So those are a couple of important reasons why we don't do that. Another reason is financial. Some insurance companies if you have your tubal done while you're hospitalized for your vaginal delivery, won't pay for it because they consider that part of the global fee as part of the delivery fee. And so that's another reason why many physicians aren't willing to do it that way. And in general, it's probably better for you to wait. And so usually what we do is we bring you back for your six-week postpartum check. So six weeks after having your baby, we do a full exam, and then we set up a schedule uh, tubal ligation at a later time. And that's done through a, through a scope, which we'll talk about uh, in another video.